You know, one of the things growing up smallmouth fishing that's different from largemouth fishing, largemouth are opportunistic. I don't want to call them lazy, but they're a little bit lazy. You know, they'll hang out in a tree or under a dock. Eventually, something's going to come by that he can eat. A smallmouth is generally a pack hunter, like a velociraptor, you know what I mean? And, and this is no joke. You can have the best smallmouth spot on earth. The best smallmouth spot on earth. If, if there is not forage, crawdads, perch, gobies, alewife, list goes on. If there is not food, they're not there. The only time to me that they genuinely don't care about food, biggin, biggin. Look at him down there, just having a T-I-M-E. Coming on this side, coming on this side. I'm gonna go all the way to the back, okay? I'm gonna go all the way to the back. But what I was saying is, if you don't, like what's funny is, if you look at all this water behind us, we searched it and searched it and searched it, nothing, nothing, nothing. We marked one cloud of, ah! we marked one cloud of bait and we've caught, everything we've caught has been this size and up. Ooh, I mean a good old demon chublin. That size and up. Nice one. But that's the main thing whenever you're, go on buddy. Whenever you're smallmouth fishing, whenever you're smallmouth fishing, besides the spawn, if you are not around food, you're not around them, never. To me, a power shot, all it is, is an extra heavy drop shot. The beauty of a power shot, and I'm using a little Strike King Baby Z2, okay? But the beauty of a power shot is, number one is the obvious. I can cover water, right? Whether I'm dropping or I'm plink casting, I can cover water. But number two, and to me, this is the, the, the magic of this, that bait with that weight goes like this. And the fish don't have time to react. It's almost like the best way to put it, it's like getting a reaction bite out of a notoriously slow presentation. When I throw out there and I'll crack it like that and I'll crack it like that, that bait's going insane down there. A big one. Look at that power shot. Big old half ounce, three quarter ounce weight. So this year, seriously, when you're out drop shotting, when you're out drop shotting, you just wanna cover a little more water, especially on bodies of water where they get pressured with a drop shot, go to a, oh my gosh, go to a real, real, real heavy weight. How about that right there, man? You know, another thing, gosh, it's a nice fish. See ya, bro. <laughs> I mean, full of fire. A lot of people ask me, you know, what's, what's my favorite, my favorite drop shot bait on earth to fish. And in all honesty, the last few years, really the last, you know, the last probably decade, I throw the Strike King Z2, the big one, the five inch. You do not get a lot of bites. Uh, but your average size goes up. Large mouth, small mouth, I've caught spotted bass on it. But day in and day out, that little dude right there, uh, striking baby Z2, is a bite getter, especially when fish get on bait. A lot of times on all of our lakes throughout the south, throughout the central United States and up north, there are times a year, whether it's the middle of summer, or we fade in the fall, that they just key on bait. They get away kind of from bluegill, they kind of get away from crawfish, perch, and stuff like that, and they just get on bait. That Baby Z2 to me is a bite getter, and it catches quality. That Elastec from that bait does something on a hook. I'm using a number two trocar drop shot hook. Big, big weight. The other thing, I use Seaguar 15 pound flash green Smackdown braid to an eight pound Seaguar Tatsu leader. 
And the other thing is I use a very, a very soft rod. This is a seven foot three Daiwa Tatula with a real soft tip. And when one bites it, it's just like your standard drop shot fishing. All you do is just reel set them. But the, again, the magic of power shotting, you cover it a crazy amount of water. And the other side of it is you get an unbelievable amount of reaction bites.